welcome on back to another episode of Baruin Build Brewberries. I hope you guys have had a wonderful day today. And if not, if it's just getting started, I hope you have a wonderful day. Today, we're going to look at this thingy that I built uh, in between last episode and this. Actually, kind of during last episode. Uh, it's a little bit of a farm. And the uh, primary reason is because uh, we needed gunpowder. And uh, this is the only way that I could think of getting lots of gunpowder without me having to absolutely massacre the entire population of the creepers. I have yet to actually make a proper elevator to get up there. But the main reason why is because this is actually going to be a part of our island concept. And uh, so this water stream is not going to be necessary. We're going to have access to it via the sky but i have been afking here actually quite a bit you can see tons of gunpowder tons of gunpowder a moderate amount of gunpowder but that's uh pretty good i'd say for afking just really for like i don't know i kind of left it on during my work day so uh this is how it works they spawn up there there's two platforms uh or i guess technically there's eight platforms one two on each there's two levels four platforms on each level and they kind of just walk off not really sure why they walk off trap doors but they walk off and then they fall down here and die to campfires and you can just afk i also am using this to uh mend up my tools and stuff uh, except for my poor little axe here it does not have anything to help with the mending nor does my helmet so that's kind of rough the primary reason why i built that was because we need tnt for our tnt cannon that we made last episode and uh well i'm not really sure if we actually need that tnt now i should be going faster than this there we go i'm not sure if we need the tnt now because y'all may have said that the jump boost stuff is actually the way that you would want me to utilize the cannon so i don't really know i went ahead and just made that that little farm thinking that we were going to be using tons of tnt but if we're not that's also perfectly fine well boy do we have a lot to do today man i have so many plans i need to do some planning in my creative world creative world why did i say it so weird you'll no say but uh we're gonna be working in the sky but i have some materials that i want to get there's actually a lot that i want to get done today but as you can see here where did i put it here 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 aha we have a fair amount of TNT. Actually, that was nice. Four exact stacks of TNT. Right now, I am not currently using the TNT in our system. Also, playing with shaders a bit more often just because I'm liking how they look. Shaders with fabric is just so much better, I think, uh, than uh, Optifine. So that's it's just really fun to play. But right now, all I have is the jump boost because why not? And... Ooh, there we go barely made it what a good time and then we just jump off Aha! that's fun so that's what we did last episode and uh thank goodness i actually moved <laughs> over that was a little sketchy now i really dig how all of this has turned out up here i really think it's looking pretty good but i'm not a huge fan of grass going right on up to the water and i think there's some little decorating we can do on the inside a bit here too most of it's dirt and terracotta currently uh, maybe a little granite tossed in there. But I do think that uh, we could make this... Okay, I, I, I kind of have to feel like I need to scream a little bit when I'm falling from that height. Um, I really want to go and find mangrove wood because that stuff, one, the wood type looks glorious. And two, mangrove has mud. Now, I know that we can get mud using dirt and water bottles but i want to get mud real like the real way the first time i want to get it from the location itself if that makes sense so we're going to be searching that but firstly i want to do a little bit of building up there to finish that area out aside from the mud that will come later but i want to fi finish that out and add some little floating islands around it with some trees and different things i've got some plans so let me go ahead and do that real quick and then we'll get on into the mud dragon all right, y'all, I said that we're going to be doing some building on the island, and uh, I am going to be doing that. But I really need mangrove wood to be able to continue with the main build that I want to do today. And uh, so I thought maybe let's go on an adventure and see uh, what we have got going. So I know it's a warm biome, and we've got a great, nice, warm ocean here. I think I've already explored a lot of it, though. 
So I'm not really sure uh, how this is going to go. Also, not having full hearts is wigging me out. Does sugar cane become more desaturated in deserts? Is that something I've just never noticed? Or is that like new? I don't feel like it's new. I feel I've always thought that the sugar cane is always just like ridiculously green. But maybe it's just because of the surrounding environment that it feels more desaturated. This is quite the desert. Look at how crazy this looks. This is like a desert mountain. Whoa, and a savanna. Oh my. I think we could be close in terms of... This is such a cool desert! Dude, I haven't... I don't think I've really found a desert since... Oh, are the bundles in, game, in the game now? I don't think they're actually in the game quite yet. I think they were like, it's not that good right now. Wow. Oh, there's a village. That's good. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. This area here just is kind of crazy to me. Ouch. <gasps> we found it. We found it. Oh, that didn't take very long at all. I knew following the the warmth was going to be the way and this is in such a sweet little area what is this little little mountain here man we can make sarthal 2.0 oh my gosh it looks so cool dude that looks so scary hold on we gotta get up here i got a view look at this village it's so it's an island village what the heck wow all right okay well i'm going up this giant sand mountain here this area is so so cool we should definitely come back here because what are those trees or is that a mountain this could be a very small mangrove area it's, it could be a small biome i've heard before and seen in a few videos of people that uh it's a pretty it can be a pretty dang large biome when you find it but we may have found uh, a small one Oh my gosh, it's like a microbiome. Whoa. And look at the mud. Oh, I love the mud. The, what is this landscape? Seriously, what is that a... There's a skeleton down there. What is this? Like, this is kind of crazy. Like, this deserves, like, a floating wizard tower above it or something like that. Wow. All right, well, firstly, I think we got to visit the, the village here prior to going and look at that giant like hole man 118 gotta say i i love the world overworld just feels ouch so so much better to explore and where's my boat i already found i found a shipwreck and it had a lot of junk in it that i don't need but i took anyways because it kind of kind of obligated to take it <gasps> i don't care about cats Sorry, cat people. I do care about this, though. Give me that. Yeah. You don't deserve it. Do you? You know, you're, you're a dingus. How much paper? We only got 11. Excuse me. I'm here to take all your stuff. Thank you. I'll leave this, because this is quite the scenic view. Look at that. Beautiful. Is that another? That is another village right next to the mangrove. Whoa. Oh, and I think you need hay to uh, use... Wait. Where's my hoe? I think I left it. Oh, well. I think you need hay in order to make packed mud or whatever it is. Because I think it's supposed to act like stucco. And to make stucco, you combine, uh, I think, real world, you do clay and, like, hay to make actual stucco. And I think that's what they're kind of going for with the packed mud. I'm not sure, but we're going to make a lot of it if we can. Um, should we go check that out? No, we're here for mangrove. Let's get it. Onward to the mangrove. Oh, I am so, so excited. I'm telling you right now, I have to go to the bathroom so bad. Squid, get out of my shot. I gotta go to the bathroom so bad, but I am just ignoring it because I want to see this mangrove. Whoa. This is so cool. This is such a... This is so different than what I've seen other people discover. Dude. This is sick. In the village is on the edge. Uh, oh, there's more. Oh my gosh. 
More pots. This is the greatest day of my life. Uh, sorry, Emma. I, I, we got married and it was the greatest day. I, I take that back. This is the second greatest day. Bro, this is so cool. What's with the broken savanna too just being around it? All right, I'll raid this village later, but let's wander around. Ooh. Oh, that sound effect is cool. Ooh, and the roots and the mud. I like it. I dig it. Oh, this is such a good atmosphere. Oh, it feels so dangerous, too. <laughs> oh, that's a deep hole. I can get out, right? <gasps> oh, my. It's a frog. And you're the exact type that I would need. Oh, can I... Can I put a frog in a bucket? Can I put the frog in the bucket? I think you can put tadpoles in the bucket. But can you put frogs in the bucket? That's my question. Excuse me, frog. Can I put you in this bucket? Oh, oh okay. Um. Whoa. Nope. Okay. So we have to breed them. What uh, do they eat? I must research. Slime balls. Oh, great. Maybe there's frog spawn around here. And there's so many of these guys, though. Dude, this is awesome. So I think you have to feed them. Uh, you have to take them to the nether to get magma slime, whatever they're called, magma cubes. And they'll eat the magma cube babies and turn those into... Man, this is great. Because... So... The reason we need these is because we need the ochre color of frog lights or whatever they're called. And um, that's that's what we need. We need that. So I I really don't want to destroy this whole place because I think this is a really, really cool area. Give me that. Oh, baby. Propagule, baby. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to take down maybe one of these edge trees that aren't going to really affect the aesthetic. Um, and then I think... We're going to experiment here. So let's first grab our mud. We can make packed mud with... Yes, it was right. You use mud and wheat. Yes. What does this look like? And then you can make the brick. Wow. I love that texture. That's going to be a good path block. My gosh. My goodness. You know, this is not a massive update. But this, like, I don't think people realize how big of a deal... It is that we just got an entire new wood type. And we got roots. These roots are the coolest thing ever. Do you know how great you can make Sky Island builds and stuff now? Because you can have roots that actually like hang down from the bottom. Oh, I have so many ideas, so many plans. I'm going to put you back. I'm gonna, uh, uh, sure, that'll work. Let me tear down some of these trees just so we can get some more propagules and some wood. And then we're going to go explore the other mangrove that's right over that way, I believe. All right, so I farmed some wood and actually have quite a bit of stuff now. So we've got quite a bit of roots, which I think is good. And got just almost four stacks of the mangrove log. And I think that'll be good to start off with. We also have 54 propagules, so not like we're going to need any more than that. I didn't, I grew my own and didn't farm any of this area here, but I wanted to go check out, uh, that area over there, uh, for mud. I don't really want to mess with this too much because I like kind of the aesthetic of this village next to it, but it also looks like there's a village right there and, oh, whoa, whoa, the landscape is kind of crazy. What is happening over here? This is like a shattered desert. Wait, the village is all up in there too? Oh, there's a blacksmith. That's cool. What is this? Dude, whoa. This is such crazy terrain generation. Whoa. This is... Uh, I don't... Is that mud going on? <laughs> the mangrove goes all the way up? That's insane. What is this? This is some crazy terrain whoa okay uh, i'm gonna explore around and and steal everything i can from here that's worth it and then uh maybe well i'll 
I'm gonna go exploring and I'll, I'll just bring you back, I guess, when there's something cool. I mean, this view is pretty good. The placement of this tower is pretty stellar. It's like at the very top. But enough dilly-dallying, let's get to grinding down through this mud. What I found? A fossil! I don't think I've ever actually found a naturally generated fossil. That's pretty cool. Got some coal here as well. You probably can't hardly see what's going on. So here, let me try and see if I can get this more visible. Oddly enough, shaders is more visible. So yeah, here here is the uh, the fossil. Kind of cool. All right, got a good amount of mud. I think this is a good starting point. Uh, one of the things I want to build here soon is a mud farm because you can turn dirt into mud. And we may experiment with that just to see how it works here in a second. But I would love to be able to make a mud farm for this. But we are good to go. I'm going to sleep away the night and then we are going to go and start on a building. And I am excited. So y'all, I wanted to do just a little chat with you as we're building up this stuff. So I got really carried away building up these sky islands. So that's actually what this this whole build is going to be centralized on. I had some more plans, but I was having a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoy the little sky islands. But I wanted to just briefly talk to you and say uh, sorry that the video was, is uh, late by a week. Uh, I've been building acoustic panels to put into my office uh, on the walls, building four different acoustic panels. Uh, so that's what I was doing all last week. So no video last week, but uh, and this one's a little late just because work actually got a little busy this week. But uh, hopefully we're able to get back into the more weekly swing of things. Uh, I think we're going to be able to yeah, not next week though i'm on vacation <laughs> but in two weeks so that's why the video was late and uh, i also wanted to say that i know the audio is kind of going back and forth and kind of being weirdly adjusted i'm experimenting with both uh, obs filters and i also bought a brand new microphone i got a bit more of a professional mic um, and so I think personally it sounds, I have, it sounds really good. I'm, I'm not having to do nearly as much in terms of the like editing factor, but I'm having to figure out the levels and kind of how those filters interact with this mic. Cause you, it's like each mic is different. Um, so I'm figuring that out. Uh, I was able to get a nice sure, what is it? Sure MV7, I think. So it's a, not a, not a crazy, crazy expensive one, but it is an actual like fairly decent one. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. I think over time, uh, the audio is just going to get better and better. I know it's definitely better than when it started, <laughs> uh, but I'm hoping that it just gets better and better. But I wanted to just talk to you briefly about that because I know it can be kind of annoying when the audio is not great, considering that's why videos are listened to. But that's all. That's all I wanted to say. I'm going to let you finish out the time lapse, and then we're going to get to uh, exploring a little bit more the build. I did quite a bit more, actually. So, yeah. Enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, there has been quite a bit done. I gotta say, this place is starting to look uh, pretty good. Now, there has been quite a bit of work done since I last talked to you, and it's uh, for a good reason. We're not done yet. Uh, we're gonna be doing some more stuff, but I really, really wanted to just go gung-ho and try to establish kind of the creative style for these Sky Islands, and I think we're on to something pretty magical. So, there's some lore being developed that we'll talk about, and there's a little bit more stuff going on. Not totally done. That is not going to be one wide the entire time. It's going to be a little bigger, but I'm, I'm just so thrilled. So, very first thing you see, like when you come flying up out of here now, you actually have kind of some cool scenery to be seeing. And the roots, they come all the way down into the water itself. We don't have all of the trees in here currently. Uh, this chest monster right here is in the way. We're going to have one more roughly around here. And then there's going to be another sky island off in this direction. 
but it's gonna be good i think we just need one more tree uh probably i'm hoping this so this tree grew exactly how it is except for the roots i messed with to make them fit properly but the height totally natural um so it's really really big and i wasn't necessarily planning on it but then uh, it grew and it kind of got to the point where i was like i'm not tearing that down so the reason why we're doing mangrove trees up here is because of the lore that i'm starting to think of so i'm wanting to get back into some lore you know how we used to do lore quite a bit and uh, then we kind of fell off and didn't do a ton uh, we did some but not a lot of story and stuff driving what we're building we're gonna come back to that and i'd really like to delve deep into it so these mangroves are special you may see these uh these flower pots here for example you're kind of probably looking at it like they look like little baby helicopters well that's because the mangrove has some levitation properties at least this species of mangrove does maybe the stuff down on the regular overworld does not but the this species does and that's what we're kind of building these islands around is that the mangroves specifically alongside some other stuff i'm still thinking through um are helping the islands stay afloat and so i wanted to really experiment with that and we're gonna have a lot of these like suspension bridges going along now these are really small suspension bridges but they're really a good idea of how we're going to be making them. Um, there's going to be some that are going to be quite large. Uh, these are, are minuscule comparatively. But I decided to just make it so that it's a little bit of an adventure. You can kind of wander around and you have to like go diagonally across a few here and then one longer one to get up here. And the only real reason for that is because I wanted a, a campsite. I wanted a place to have a bed. That wasn't just like down there on the main island but look at this doesn't this look just so much better now now that it's textured a little bit it looks so so good one of my favorite things to do is actually take a gander at this from afar and so there we are all the way over there you can see us and i'm on my i have my camera account on because i don't have replay mod currently but my goodness do the the vines themselves i think help sell the flying island so much better than not having anything hanging down oh it's so good i just absolutely love it um yeah it's just so good to be able to see all these little islands the one island alone was feeling a little sparse and i think even having an additional couple islands on this side over here is going to be so so good it's going to make it feel just that much more alive now you may have noticed that thing down there so that's my attempt at uh, making a cloud and i don't really know how good it actually is but it's using just a bunch of white blocks and a little bit of blue glass and the primary reason was because i wanted to have a waterfall kind of falling down and we may have an additional one so that this cloud is not all alone but i wanted to have a waterfall but it needed to like dissipate the idea is that this is kind of like it dissipating after it's reached a certain height but it's a little difficult to make clouds in Minecraft. So hopefully it's all right. Hopefully it doesn't detract that much. But I'd like to add a few more so that it's like not the only cloud up here, if that makes sense. Because it's, uh, yeah, it feels a little strange right now that it's all alone. But we'll get there. We'll make it work. You want to know what one of the worst things is about being a YouTube creator? It's when you record a full clip and then realize, oh, I didn't actually record that. I have to redo it all. So that's great. I'm happy about that. But anyways, what I was saying that you don't know that I was saying, but I promise I was, was this is not complete. Uh, this is going to be similar to these. They're going to have a dark oak edge to them. Uh, and then these roots will kind of wrap and kind of help suspend it. Uh, that's kind of one of the main concepts of this area is the mangroves are a really key part in helping the the islands themselves levitate but then also a key part of keeping the bridges suspended their roots are acting almost as like rope to keep them attached to the land and so that's kind of why we've got roots here that kind of go down and are going around and then they attach back up and we've got like a little baby tree here this one uh this one's probably a little interesting uh, you may be thinking that's not physically possible because there's no ground there uh that's because the mangrove itself is what causes levitation at least this species of mangrove that's kind of the lore we're going with so i don't know 
if you've ever seen One Piece and you've watched, I've watched all of it, but if you've watched at least a good portion of it, you've probably seen the Sabayote Archipelago uh, arc, which is pre-time skip uh, in One Piece. If any of you watch it, you know what I mean. If you didn't, I'm sorry, I'm speaking a different language to you. But at the Sabayote Archipelago, they have these mangroves that are gargantuan, absolutely massive. And the mangroves in that, the roots of the mangrove actually produce this like resin material that comes up from the ground and becomes bubbles. And we can't do that in Minecraft. But what I could do, the idea that kind of, get, the reason this gave me an idea was because we got the mangroves. I really like the roots. And then I had the idea for the suspension bridges being kind of overgrown by the roots and that they're helping like suspend it. Um, and... So then I started thinking, well, what if the mangroves themselves were helping to keep the islands up somehow? And so that's kind of where my brain went. And so now we've got this species of mangrove trees way up here in the uh, atmosphere that is helping to levitate these islands, if you will. That something happened to these or some, for some reason, these mangrove trees are allowing these islands to float. And this is not the only reason. There's going to be a deeper reason that ties in. Well, I don't want to give away too much, but the end. Uh, it's going to tie in the end a little bit. And uh, I'm not sure exactly how, but that's where my head's going. So that's why we've chosen the mangrove tree as like the primary tree. I also just really like the mangrove tree because like a lot of times you get Minecraft trees and you're like, oh, let me grow it. But look at all those nasty trees. None of them are interesting in the slightest compared to this freaking crazy monster tree. This is super interesting, and I don't have to build it. There is one custom-built mangrove tree here. Uh, I messed with the roots of a lot of them, but uh, the only one that's actually custom-custom is this one. And I bet you didn't even know. I bet my building prowess made it so that you had no concept this was even a hand-built one. The only way you can tell is because no propagules, those little guys, no propagules will show up on this tree. And that is the only downside to doing a custom mangrove tree. You can't get the natural uh, propagules. The only way to get them is through naturally spawned leaves. And it's kind of crummy. I kind of wish that they just naturally did it or that you could like bone meal the leaves or something. I don't know. I just wish that you could do something to get it on hand-placed leaves. Now enough blabbing aside, we've got building still to do. But in order to do this building, I, I've totally forgotten, totally forgotten how I actually do sky building. And I have realized my mistakes. I need netherrack. The reason I need netherrack is because it's um, actually like the most ultimate superior tool for scaffolding. Uh, this stuff right here, this scaffolding is great for vertical building. It's terrible for horizontal because you can only go six blocks and these islands and what we're about to build is going to be so much, so much longer. Uh, it's going to be a <clears throat> hundred blocks, if that, uh, maybe a little bit more. And I need to do some modifying to the bottom side of this island anyways, because I need to get these roots stretched all the way down. So there's a lot of under under no land beneath me building that I need to do. Oh my gosh, my oven just beeped and scared the living crap out of me. I forgot to set a timer. Fun fact, you can place grass on mud. On second thought, everyone, I just have been doing a lot of the editing for this video, and we're already at the 30 minute mark. So, or close to it at least. So I think I'm gonna call it there instead. We're going on vacation next week, so I don't want to push this too much. I wanna be able to get it edited and out for you, so you have at least something to watch. Um, and so no video next week. This one's gonna come out a little late, uh, probably coming out on Saturday, I would imagine. And next week, or in, I guess, next episode, we're gonna tackle the rest of, I'll probably do this, the, this island over here on my own and uh, we'll just continue with the suspension bridge stuff in next episode and maybe actually get into the actual build style. But I got really lost into this island creation stuff and had a lot of fun. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. We ended up being able to just focus on the island here and getting this kind of like initial build idea fleshed out a bit more. So. 
I think this is a great place to stop. It's not like we didn't get to accomplish anything. I think we've accomplished quite a bit. Also, I know I have uh, talked about it before, but I have a new microphone. And so if the audio kind of wavers throughout this, it's getting a bit more consistent. I'm still figuring this mic out. So that's why there may be some inconsistencies in the volume level. Uh, and I'm also trying to figure out my OBS filters, uh, doing a bit more advanced filter stuff. Um, so that's why the audio may be a little bit kind of here or there uh, every now and again. But hopefully it's getting better and better. We'll, whoop, that didn't work. Stupid vines. But we'll figure it out. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, leave a like in real life. And I'll be able to see you guys in the next episode in a couple of weeks. Uh, bye bye.